Hello, welcome to Steve's Retro Loft. Today it's another unboxing. Uh, this one's a box of uh, Spectrum cassettes, double boxes, so I'm hoping games such as Head Over Heels, maybe Batman, Match Day 2, um, that type of game, uh, that type of ocean game, and probably a few others. It's quite a weighty box, so I'm expecting quite a few in there, so let's get the box open. Let's uh, break the tape and see what gems this contains. Engine first stuff, <laughs> a Spectrum Plus 3 game. Um, yeah, wow. Um, I think this must have been a, an eBay purchase. Um, obviously, I don't have a Plus 3 to try it on. Well, <laughs> I didn't even know that. I didn't even know, even know I had that. That's a bit of golf. Frankenstein, no idea. President by Kevin Toms. Okay, good old Kevin Toms. Football manager fame and uh, some of those magazines you couldn't quite reach. Uh, Bismarck, uh, Loads of Midnight, was that a. or Lords of. Loads of Midnight, okay. Uh, little computer people, okay. I assume that's a Spectrum version, yep. Yeah, as you say, there's uh, quite a lot of good stuff in here. So. Oh yes, yes, some good stuff. Do our big four? Maybe I could get a working version of Combat Links. Um, Saboteur two. I'm not sure if we've got Saboteur one. Um, so they sold a million. Mm. Best of Beyond. Yep, good stuff. Yep. How do you say that one? Pegasus looks like a war game strategy thing. Enterprise. Again, there's a lot of games I've never heard of. Way of the Tiger. Uh, High Frontier. Outrun. Class. Football. Travel. Vikings. Yay! Head over heels. Nice 3D isometric type game. Exelon. Yep. Great Escape. Another 3D game. Match Day 2. That will be getting a play, you know that. Um, Dogfight, oh, never heard that one. Renegade, oh yes, bit of beat up, beat up action. Taipan, not sure what that is. Killed Until Dead, quite gruesome some of these games in the 80s. Uh, classics, so uh, it's uh, Exelon, Dynamite Down, Aliens, Cauldron 2, Into the Eagle's Nest, so uh, yeah. Days of Thunder, mm, film tie-in, uh, Computer Hits 10, so, Bride of Frankenstein, Contact Sam Cruise, oh excellent, uh, Starquake, oh, there's some good stuff there, uh, another copy of Match Day 2, seems to be a uh, traditional I seem to get a couple of these, from Cross and Herbert Chemists, okay, Silent Service, oh. Screenshots from the Commodore 64. Right, so I won't do them all, but I'll go through a small selection of them, uh, of games that take my interest, so uh, I shall see if I can get any of them to load. Some may have predicted this, but inevitably the first game up is Match Day. Actually, as the Spectrum title's got a little bit more advanced, uh, in towards the mid, towards the later 80s, um, you find screens 
screen loaders were better. Uh, a lot of them include timers and most of them were also fast loading uh, cassettes as well. Which was good, especially when you were young and impatient like I was. Okay, we'll try again. Take two and it works. So looking at the instructions, I think you press enter three times and you're pretty much in a game. Oh, damn. Yeah, the keepers didn't ever seem to be um, that good in terms of movement. Share of possession, it's just uh, not going anywhere, unfortunately. Is it made in? Oh no. Ah, oh well, there you go. I don't think you want to sit and watch this all game, but um, it's good to see it working. Um, next up we have a look at Renegade, it's a coin-up conversion. I do remember playing the uh, the arcade version, it used to be in a chip shop opposite um, where I used to work in Edgebaston in Birmingham. Uh, yeah, we used to go over myself and my colleague Gary and we'd go and kick ass as we would say. Um, I think it was Renegade or it might have been one of the uh, sequels or, or yeah, prequels to this game, I can't remember how the series went but yeah there we go it's another uh, fast loader so hopefully this one will work a bit better than match day two um, but yeah we'll hopefully see you in a few minutes with it right can't remember the game too much um, the screenshots give it away a little bit I know there's a bit on the subway where you can have a fight so um, let's uh, let's kick some butt oh that's me I think yeah well, yeah Oh, there you go. Didn't last very long. Uh
Yeah, the boss seems to be uh, quite tough. It seems to be immu immune to being kicked as well by the look of it. There you go. Bit of unnecessary violence on a uh, Sunday afternoon. Let's try something else. Right. Let's try one of the uh, Doral games there, one of the big four. Um, I will try Combat Links, mainly because I like to see games that don't load. So there you go. Hopefully, it might work this time. Well, that's the loading screen. So. Um, Place your bets now, please. Yeah, I think that sums it up. Um, I don't think there was a specific special loader on this game that uh, did something at the end of the game, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll hold out just a few seconds. Okay, time for a... I'll try Saboteur. This one seems to be looking a bit better. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see in a few minutes when the game finishes. Or finishes to load. Now, I've got this far before on a Duval game. So I won't get too excited just yet. Uh, fast forward that. Ooh. That sounds encouraging. Is there in the, the, the space? Okay. A oh, really fine keys. Yeah. So. Surely Q A O P and N are are the standard for spectral games and keys. Skill level one. Yeah. I can't remember the game. I'm not going to go through the game. I just want to. See it running, it's been a while. If that red thing is good or bad, I'll find out when he gets to the end. Yeah, with a health refresh, I think. Nice, nice to see it again. Nice graphical adventure uh, sort of game, uh, not adventure game, but a sort of action game. Um, but yeah, there was. I think there was a. You had to find a disc of some sort and then plant a bomb and then escape in a helicopter um, before the time runs out. So it's a. Uh, it's good. Yeah, it's a, and yeah, it showed off the uh, power of the spectrum at the time. Yeah. Um, And unusual um, as well, because the main character, I believe, is a lady as well. 
uh, computer game in the 80s for aimed at lads. But there you go, I shall try something else now. As a final uh, look at these uh, uh, collection of games, uh, another John Rittman game uh, and Bernie Drummond, Head Over Heels. It was a, a sort of 3D isometric game which is very much uh, made popular by um, Ultimate and their Night Lord games and Alienate. Um, and then this is one of the better, better games. I think there's a Batman movie and I think there's a few others at the time which are, which are quite good. There was a lot of also ran type games and even Ultimate produced a few of those. Um, but this one's uh, quite a good game. Um, I think you played two characters, one was the heads and one one was the head, one was the feet, head over heels, that was a, that's why it's called that. Uh, I can't remember the aim of the game, but uh, yeah, hopefully it will load. Um, the ocean games so far have been generally okay, um, but yeah, I shall see you in a minute, hopefully. See a nice example of the uh, Spectrum screensaver. They they were very basic in the early days, and then they got progressively better and better over the years. Obviously, the more expensive the title, um, they tend to spend a little bit more on the uh, the graphic art and the, obviously the box, uh, and that's shown uh, on the loading screen. Though it did waste a few seconds loading the screen in, uh, it was something to look at when you know a game might take two or three minutes to load. It takes your mind off uh, just a completely black screen with a basic bit of text and the game. It's not advanced as some of the Commodore 64 loaders where you could play music or there might be, I think some of it might be about games uh, uh, whilst you're loading, which was uh, quite entertaining. Of course, after bigging up um, Head Over Heels and saying how wonderful the uh, ocean loaders were, um, it didn't. So uh, there you go. Um, I might go through the box and see if there's something else I can pick out um, in the meantime. Yeah. As a bonus, and because Head Over Heels didn't work, I thought I'd uh, give The Great Escape a try. Um, it's another ocean title. Um, uh, so yeah, well, let's see if this one's any good. It's um, Looking at the screenshots, it's a sort of 3D isometric game. Um, I'm, I'm sure the title gives away what it is. Uh, I can't remember it too much, um, but yeah, we'll have a look and uh, yeah, see if it works. Fire left right is sit down. Okay, oh, the guard seems to force me to sit down on his own. Um, so there you go, it's a. Uh, I'm sure there's some point to the game. Um, yeah, it's not as graphically as nice looking as uh, some of the Ultimate uh, titles. Um, but yeah, there you go. It, it sort of makes up a little bit for a head over heels not working, I guess. Um, head over heels, similar 3D isometric type game, but um, obviously. Uh, a bit more graphically, more like Nightmare, I think. Um, but there you go. Right, let's put a pick a random game out of the box. Uh, Days of Thunder. Um, yeah, it's obviously based on the Tom Cruise, I think, film. Um, yeah, I've no idea what this game's like. 1990, so it's interesting that yeah, with uh, Spectrum came out, came out in 1982 probably became more popular in 1983 um, but they were still making games for it seven eight years later I mean to be fair there are some games still made today but the uh, commercial more commercial games uh, were still being made in the 90s which is yeah a uh, good lifespan for such a sort of a old machine 
But hopefully, um, yeah, I'll have a look at this game when it started and if it loads. Um, and yeah, I assume it's a racing game. Um, although, you know, the inlay seems to think there's more to it than that. But uh, we'll have a look in a bit. Game's loaded with a. I'm not sure if that's glitchy graphics or just terrible graphics. Um, do I have a Kempston joystick? Um, yes or no, it's an N, so yes. Go for that, okay. I think there might be some corruption on this game looking at the graphics, um, but we'll see how it goes. I'll freely admit this is probably one of the worst looking driving simulations I've, I've seen. Um, yeah. It's pretty bad. I mean, okay, the graf graphical glitches uh, don't help, um, but yeah, there you go. This is this is pretty terrible. Um, I'm guessing that it's probably why I I've not really. Had this game on my radar before. Uh, I might just crash and see what happens. It might improve the game if I crash somewhere. Oh, oh, car seems to be on fire. Okay. Uh, yeah. Terrible game. Terrible graphics. Bit of a bad glitch. Yeah, I think that'll be um, that'll be my experience of the game. Um, nice looking box. Nice looking graphics. Um, but other than that, well, no nice looking graphics on the box, I wouldn't say the game's got nice looking graphics. Uh, I'm sure the Commodore 64 and possibly the Amiga version, as it says on the back here, might be better, but uh, the Spectrum's what you've got. And I'm not that impressed. At least it loaded. Thanks again for watching Steve's Retro Loft, it's another box opening episode. Um, please do some of the games that managed to load, I'm disappointed with some of them that didn't. Um, Thinking combat links again, um, but yeah, nice to see uh, Match Day Two. Um, I was largely terrible at the game, but uh, hopefully, uh, you know, things might improve with uh, a little bit more practice. Now I've got this one out, I'll probably keep this one tape out and uh, yeah, put it in my drawer with some of my ultimate games. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon with another episode. Not sure what I'll be doing next time. Um, maybe more of a box opening, maybe another bit of hardware, but we'll wait and see. And see you soon. Bye bye.